welcome back to Silly Weekends. I'm Kat, and today we're going to continue on with episode 3 of Made in Abyss. So just a quick recap. The biggest thing that we found out with episode 2 was that Rico's mom might be alive. One of the squads that go adventuring into the abyss come back, and they come back with this huge silver white whistle, and that was Liza's whistle, which is Rico's mom. And then you find out how epic her mom really is. Like she's one of the top adventurers and you find a little bit about her dad as well, how he's a black whistle. She was pregnant while adventuring out there in the abyss. And she pushed it so much that she actually gave birth to Rico inside the abyss. That's some crazy shit. I don't know if that was just bad parenting or if it's how heroes parent. <laughs> still adventuring while she's pregnant. That, I mean, that's commendable and irresponsible at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, the episode ends with them showing Rico her mother's letters or journal. I got a glimpse of it, like there's a sketch of a boy that looks very similar to Reg. Next to that is like a little cutout of a message. I think it said something like, within the nether realm, I'll be waiting, something like that. So it's like, Mind blown, the mom is still alive. So that's really cool information to know that your legendary mother could still be alive. Is she telling you to go find her? I don't know. That's what I would think. I've been talking too much. So let's get right into this. Episode 3 of Made in Abyss. At the Netherlands bottom, I'll be waiting. That's, yeah, there you go. That's the message. That's exactly how I would be like, okay, my mom is down there. She wrote that message. She wants to get found, right? I'm guessing that's what Nat's character was going to be. Like, Rico is the dreamer. Nat is the realist. And then Ray could be like the character to make some of the possibilities happen. <laughs> I love how they got like the personalities of kids down. Like her beating up on Nat because he's against her. Reminds me of me and my brother. <laughs> I just remembered. They also mentioned something about, about Rico's vision. Like it'll only work if she sees through a crystal. I wonder if that's going to help her out while adventuring into the abyss too. Like a hidden ability. Seven-tailed scorpion, stingerhead. Wow, that's a cool name, but that's scary. Seventh layer. <gasps> Whoa. So she's made it beyond where the average human goes. Ooh, what is that? Oh, more. I wonder if you can eat them. <gasps> So the the curse, I'm guessing it's the, the side effects from being around the abyss for so long. <gasps> That's him. Oh gooseies. Gooseies. Oh, she's so cute with Ray. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's not bridge. <laughs> I hope Nat also joins because they need someone with a steady head to be part of their adventure. Whoa. Okay. So I'm guessing they were all around the first layer. If anybody goes into the second layer, then no one will actually go in and find you. That's when everyone dies, right? Yeah, they call it the last dive. I know he's trying to look out for her, but that's messed up. He's a kid. You done fucked up, Nat. <sighs> Just getting down there is going to be a huge obstacle. I wonder how they're gonna do it. Climb down from the side? <gasps> oh, he's coming. Oh, is Shiggy going with them? He would be a good member, like he could be like the brains of the operation. <gasps> oh shit, oh shit. Oh. <gasps> oh, Nat, please join them. I want him to be there. Oh, this world is so cool. 
mental prep for everyone that Rico is going to be going into the abyss. Makes sense. The episode's name is Departure. So I thought Nat was going to be there. Like he was going to be joining them in their adventure. Kind of feel like that type of adventure kind of needs his personality to calm Rico down. And usually if there's a dreamer, it's a good balance to have a realist to kind of not let that person go off too far. I'm guessing that will be up to Reg. Although Reg kind of seems like more of the follower and whatever Rico is thinking, I can see him kind of being the one that just makes that possibility happen. So yeah, we'll see what it, how it goes. I'm really excited to see the creatures that she's about to encounter. I'm not sure if I was right. So that first level, so the kids when they've been um when they've been adventuring for relics, is that the first level already because the way that the map looked it was very green and like a lot of fields and I think you even see that whale type of creature and they do mention how on that first level it's usually pretty safe but sometimes the creatures from level two come up so have they been on level one this whole time when they were adventuring? I'm really excited to see this new world that they're about to encounter and the differences from normal to one of the levels of the abyss. I can see them already baby stepping into some of the filio moments in this anime. That heartfelt goodbye that Rico and Nat had. I would have to get to know the character a little bit more, like spend more time with them. This was just a bit early for me to get emotional with, but that already was like tugging a little bit at my heart. That was a great episode and super, super excited to go on to episode four for sure. But anyways, I hope you guys liked my reaction. I don't know if I was really really animated with this episode just because like nothing really shocking or whatever happened if you guys liked my reaction uh please like and subscribe any extra information that you guys have for me go ahead and comment below i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys next time for episode four of made in abyss all right stay warm out there bye